Welcome everyone. Today we'll learn how to handle email confirmation with SendGrid and Ask.NET Core Identity. So as a prerequisite, we need to create an identity schema. You can check out my video of how to register a user using Ask.NET Core Identity. So for this demo, we'll download this GitHub repository. I'll clone the initial branch. So open the project, open the program.cs file to see the identity and the SQL Server configuration. So basically this project configures identity using the user class, which inherits from the default identity user. And we add the entity framework dots for this DB context class, which inherits from identity DB context to create the identity schema. And we add the SQL Server configuration by passing the connection string located in the add settings.json and using a local SQL Express database. And finally, we have two minimal API endpoints. The first one is to register a user. We get from body the username, email, and password from this DTO. And we inject the user manager to create the user by passing the user and the password. And we have this validation. And the second endpoint is to log in. We get the email and password from the user so we inject the user manager and sign in manager. We use the user manager to find the user by email. We add this validation. Then we'll check if the email is confirmed. Otherwise, we'll return a bad request. And finally, with the sign in manager, we'll sign in using the user information and the password. So by default, Asnet Core Identity doesn't require to confirm the email. So scroll up and in the app identity configuration, we'll add a new option to require config email. So set this property as true, run the project and try to log in. So I'll open Postman to register a user with this username, email and password values. So send the request, it's created. It returns a successful status code. Now go to the second request to log in with the email and password. And it returns a bad request because the email is not confirmed. So go back to the program.cs file and add the email configuration endpoint. So in the register step, we'll send the confirmation email through SendGrid and generate a token to confirm the email. So first of all, Let's create or generate a new token by calling user manager that generate email confirmation token. We need to pass the user and it's important to add in the identity configuration the default token providers to generate tokens. And in order to send the token, we need to encode this token using a base64 URL encoding. So let's create a new code property and then use web encoders that base64 URL encode, and we pass the bytes from the token. So let me call encoding from system.tets, EFTA that get the bytes from the token, and then we'll create a new confirmation link that we will send in the email to execute the confirmed email endpoint, and then to confirm the email for the user, okay? So basically this confirmation limb will point to the local API endpoint. So let me go to Postman to copy the API URL and the action will be confirmed email and we'll send two query parameters. The first one is the email of the user to get the user information and the second parameter will be the code. Okay, so create the API action to confirm the email. So let me copy this part. Let's create a GET request with the same API endpoint from the confirmation link to execute this action in the API. So we'll get two query parameters. The first one will be the email, which is a string. Let me remove the sign in manager. And the second parameter will be the code. So the first step in this config email action is to get the user information by calling user manager that find by email. We'll check if the user is not null. 
and then we'll decode the code to get the token and confirm the email. So call encoding that EFTA that a string get a string and then we'll use this web encoders that base 64 URL decode in this case for the code that we get from the query parameter and then we call we'll create a variable to store the result and call user manager that confirm email by passing the user and the token so finally based on the result if it's successful we'll return an ok status code with a confirm message otherwise return a bad request with the errors from the result and that's it we have our confirm email endpoint that we will execute when we click the confirmation link from the email so now it's time to send the email for this demo we'll use sendgrid okay so for this demo you need to have a sendgrid account you can create a new account in this button okay so i already have an account so in the main dashboard from sendgrid we'll go to settings api keys let's create a new api key define the name and let's define full access for this api key copy the value go back to the program.cs file and in the add settings.json i'll add a new property called sendgrid api key now we'll create an email service to send the email so go back to the sendgrid website i have another link which contains an API C -Shack code example to send an email using the SendGrid library. I'll provide all the links in the description below. So with this simple example, we will send the email that we need to confirm an email. So let me copy this execute method, go back to the API and create a new class called email service. Add this method as public and define the name send email confirmation and as a parameter we'll receive the email and the confirmation link so we need the api key to create a new SendGrid client so by a primary constructor i'll inject the iConfiguration interface to access the ad settings.json so call configuration and pass the key so go back to the ad settings.json and copy the property name in the front we'll use the sendgrid account email okay subject will be account confirmation and in the to section we'll pass the email in the email address object as a plain test context we'll set this property from the confirmation link and we'll keep the html content as empty okay now we'll create a single email with this mail helper from the SendGrid library. We need to install the SendGrid Nougat package. So in the Solution Explorer, I'll open the project configuration and you see, I have the SendGrid Nougat package already installed. So go back, we create a single email with all the parameters needed. And then we call this send email async method to send the email. Now go back to the program.cs file. And in the register step, will create a new instance of the email service and add the dependency which is the configuration interface and call the send email confirmation method by passing the email the user and the confirmation link we have this is an asynchronous method so at the await keyword you can apply dependency injection but for demo purposes we'll create a new instance of the email service class that's it it's time to test the api so before testing in postman go back and i'll open the sql server object explorer to remove the created user so i will access the sql express database go to my database and go to the asnet users table to remove the row that we created initially so remove the row and now go to postman and register the user with the same values send a request the user is created successfully now go to your email inbox so as you can see we have an email with the account confirmation subject open the email and we have the confirmation link 
it will invoke the confirm email action from our API. Now go back to Postman and try to log in with the credentials. As you can see, we are logging successfully. So in this demo, we learn how to handle email confirmation with SendGrid and Asta Network Identity.